Papadopoulos from our OR here in Athens, Greece. This is a young gentleman with what we're seeing here, a little bit of irregular astigmatism. Um, and uh, he measures about a 0 0.9 at 175 degrees. His topography guided gives us one diopter at 175 degrees. His refraction is at 172 and 0.75. Let's look at the epithelium. We can do a stream light uh, with uh, topo guided, so we're going to use the topo guided lessons learned to treat this epithelium with stream light. The uh, average epithelial thickness is 54 for uh, superior cornea, 55 for inferior, so we're going to go with an average of 55. And I'm going to go directly to our treatment platform here. But what we did is we switched his cylinder axis from 172 to 175. We kept the 0.75 cylinder because this is with the rule astigmatism and a 0.5 with the rule is something we can live with. We're leaving his uh, spherical refraction as is. We're adjusting the uh, streamlight uh, measurement to 55 microns. Just to remind you, our range here is from 45 to 65. Thus, the default 50 needs to be increased because as we saw in the Optiview epithelium maps, the average cornea thickness epithelium is about 55 microns, and this is a treatment. So this is a streamlight, wafer-optimized treatment that has been tweaked, if you forgive the term, a little bit with TMR, with the topography guided planning to adjust for the uh, uh, topography suggested axis. If the astigmatism was different, for instance, if topography showed us that he needed to correct two diopters of astigmatism and he was refracting to 0.75, we'd probably treat 175 and then um, take half a diopter off the sphere. I hope this helps you to bring you up to date with what we're doing with TMR, with uh, transepithelial PRK treatments using the advanced technology by Alcon named uh, Streamlight. Thanks so much.